New music for me is music that's written by living composers. New music, like any music, is, I think, a narrative. It is about connection, it is about emotions, it's about moods, it's about colors. And I think it's my job as a performer to introduce elements of the work to the audience in familiar, perhaps very unfamiliar ways, to perhaps shock them, but also to get them to embrace the new sounds. Each piece is like meeting a new friend. Um, each piece has its own personality, has its own requirements. So I look at each piece as an adventure. In the last couple of years, Meg has come on uh, to this really fascinating idea of exploring beyond the role of the traditional pianist in a concert hall. She's been including video, uh, spoken word, performance, art, different lighting, different settings, even different instruments that go beyond the piano but are based on the keyboard. She's been working with some new electronic instruments and interactivity. That's what's really exciting for me is that exploration and the integration between the different media, sound and image and movement and dance, that is facilitated through technology. And it's not because, you know, wow, technology, we can do this with technology. It's always artist driven. I am a pianist. I will always be a pianist, no matter what uh, the composers and visual artists asks me to do, put a GoPro on my head, um, project things uh, at me, uh, on me, around me, um, acoustic sounds, electronic sounds, ebos, um, inside the piano, outside the piano, above the piano, gesturally, whatever the expectations and the new challenges and the new performance techniques, I will always be a pianist. That's my starting point. I have always been surrounded by music. My father is a United Church minister, and so I only remember waking up to very loud, very, very resonant um, Bach organ music. Every morning he would wake up the whole family up with this. And then finally moved to Winnipeg. Um, I was almost nine when we moved to Winnipeg. My parents still live in Winnipeg, so that's where I call home. And then I moved to Boston, back to Boston um, for one year, and then moved to Paris. Um, first job at uh, Chantilly Conservatoire and lived in Paris for three years and, uh, and then moved to Frankfurt, uh, Germany, and lived there for almost 15 years, and then um, moved back to Manitoba and uh, have lived in Brandon now for almost 11 years. Continue. So even that, that falling, tiara, yes, into the rest, This continues. Well, I love teaching. I think teaching is a part of my art. Um, I learn just as much from teaching as I do from performing. I've always found teaching to be extremely satisfying. And musically, to share your ideas and then to get the response back from people who are as excited about music. I love those moments where their eyes just, they get it, their, their eyes just go ping. What makes new music so special and makes it so exciting is that we can have conversations with the composers. We can really um, not only collaborate with them in the creation, uh, in the development of the works, but we can really talk with them. I can ask them, so what did you mean by this? 
Like I've been playing it really short, <clears throat> and without the drone, it right. sounds strange. But with the kick, right. you want to fit that in. Right. So I don't know if you want a little bit more resonance or if you want it really dry so that the kick comes in. Because sometimes if there's no resonance and the kick isn't like 100%, yep. Yep. it sounds yep. strange. Well, I'm happy with a little longer. Just to place it more? Yep. Okay. I've known Megumi Misaki for, for quite a few years. It was before even I came to Brandon University that I came across her work as a, as a pianist. And uh, she had played a couple of my pieces in, in Europe when she was living over there. So I've followed her work for quite a while, but pieces that I've worked with Meg on have included her speaking, working with video, playing inside the piano, going back and forth with electronic clips, all kinds of different stuff, even singing with the audience. So the idea is, can we break down the barrier between traditional performance and our modern world so that the audience actually feels like they're part of the piece. Oh, like that, right? Yeah. Not that like this, yeah, no, no, and yeah. not like this either. Yeah. So it's like dry, maybe just a touch of pedal when you get to here, and then just yeah. go off. I think that's probably one of the main reasons why I'm so drawn to music, is because I'm so drawn to the narrative. I'm so drawn to the mood and the, the story that each piece of music speaks to me and tells me. The composers or visual artists or choreographers that I work with, they have very concrete ideas themselves, very personal ideas about the narrative or the motion or the colors that these pieces have. And they may or may not um, be the same as mine. So that is part of the development of a piece. I just can't see somebody in a rock band playing with that kind of articulation, you know? Like it's a oh. lot, it's a lot. Well, I think it's because of the kick that makes me yeah. want to kick the left hand as well. It still is the work of the composer and it is my job to really tell the story or express what the composer has to say in that piece. Ferrovia is a work for piano, electroacoustic sound and video, and was a result of a collaboration with composer Brent Lee and video artist Siggy Torinos. In 2012, we got together in Italy at the Castel Maggiore International Music Festival and were experimenting with the idea of time and distance in how sound and visual gestures can capture especially the sense of nostalgia.
The piano to me is, you know, one part of the way I can express what music means to me. It's my instrument of choice. Um, it's how I can create the sounds that are inside of me. Um, I love the piano because I can be, you know, a bird. I can imitate a bird song. I can imitate an orchestra with the piano, I can make the piano sing. So the piano is an instrument of sound. It's also how I move around sound, how I can express what I see and what I feel in music. That's what a piano is for me. Mm -hmm. 